Hey guys, Moose here. We are back with another episode of Darkest Dungeon, and we are going to be going into the ruins on a medium apprentice level exploration mission with a Hellion bounty yonder. I haven't seen one of those in a while. A cultist, and finally a fucking arbalist. Gone the whole way without getting one, but now we got two. There are three to pick from, I just picked up two. So we're going to provision and head on in. I'll go hard here. Might as well, we have the money, so... Uh, more keys and no herbs, I think. We don't really need herbs. I think this will be totally fine. And yeah, let's head on in. It's only the ruins. No need to over-prepare too much. We got plenty of food and torches, so no problem. Please tell me I got shovels. I got shovels, right? Yeah, I got shovels. Okay. Scared me for a second. Okay. Sure. It's unfortunate, but not really a problem. Our trinkets are pretty standard fare, though. Uh, I know I, I didn't go over them, but you're not really missing anything. The Arbalist has plus 1% crit, plus 2 speed, with move resist penalty, and the normal 8, plus 8 dodge for our cultist, melee skills and bleed resist for the bounty hunter, and just generic shit. I forget what this even was. Protection and dodge? Yeah. Okay. 250 gold to start the night off. Yeah, Even not terrible. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. Eh, let's see what else we can get here. I think I'll go south for it. Well... Leave this to last? Yeah, because it's got a lot of backtracking, so... It's going to be a random target. Lower damage? No, I want to take one of these assholes out. Is marking them worth it? Probably. We have some marked synergy here that I haven't talked about. Our, uh, actually, that won't help, but whatever. Uh, yeah, definitely do this. Okay, so that was a bad idea. I forgot we had Iron Swan. But this works. Okay, that didn't. But hey, there's only one of them, so that's fine. Of course, they're going to have to turn off, which is... Oh, okay, we dodged the one that mattered, so that's good. Actually, we've dodged both so far. Three damage total between them. And on our tank, no less, I will take it. This is un this is less ideal, but it's still fine. Uh, just kill this guy. Or not. Just keep getting everything to one hit away from death. I would like to kill you. That's not going to do it. Kill you then. Give them no quarter. Not really too thrilled about that outcome, but it'll work. I'm just not going to bother with a heal. Total waste of time. Okay. Knockback? Yeah. It's fine. It's totally fine. Hey, return the favor. You get stunned too. There we go. Battlefield bandage, probably. For no particular reason. We got it. I mean, why not just do it? We're allowed to, so sure. As the it's just free falls, HP, basically. A faint hope blossoms. Okay. Rearrange and off we go. I'm still not really sure how I want to tackle this. Do we go? Do we go here first? I know we have to go here. I think we do that first. Yeah, better to do it first. I think. Oh, come on, just get one fucking kill on the first hit, please. Confidence At least that does damage. Crumbles. Okay. Uh, sure. Just to make sure we don't fuck this up somehow. Blind fire? I wonder if that can hit corpses. It'd suck if it could. Okay, blind fire again. Another one okay, falls. well, it doesn't appear to be able to, but we rolled. Basically, either we won two coin tosses or it can't hit corpses. This expedition at least promises success. Now we're in a hallway. Right. For some reason, I, f I keep thinking fights are always room fights. 
I mean, that one would never be a room fight. You get four spiders, but never just two useless skeletons. All right, we need to kill the back row. So how do we do this? Iron Swan's going to get one. Should be able to kill it now. That's the one that really needs to die. So this guy, I think we mark. We got the turn order that we needed to make this work, I think. And then we see a sniper shot can finish the deal. It's got a reasonably good chance to do it, and it did. There you go. Now the two weaker guys are the ones we have to deal with. That is not bad at all. Okay, we're due for some healing here. Not terrible, but could have been more. And... Uh... Yeah, just try and take this guy out. Probably take... Okay, I was going to say it'll probably take two hits anyway, but that's pretty good. Well, I like the uh, Bounty Hunter's Axe. Looks kind of cool. Sure, right? Or Blind Fire? I'll just mark him. Oh, I can't. Okay, well, whatever. Blind Fire is the only way we can hit him. Speed buff never hurt anyone, so... Do I just stun him? Yeah, sure. Can't hurt to be a little cautious. And we will go for... Uh, you know what? I don't think we need to heal yet. It's kind of unnecessary to do that, but... What the hell? It was interesting that the cultist went before the arbalist even with the speed buff. Alright, easy kill. And that's not tor not too bad. Pop one of our keys here. What do we get? Good, just heirlooms. That's fine. Yeah, you know what? We'll just go up. Totally forgot about torches. Don't have holy water, but you want to do this, so alright, fine. That's actually not bad. Onyx is always nice, and we got another jade to stack. In radiance, may we find Kay. victory. Another key opportunity here. Pop that right away. If Good. Only treasure could Still stackable. Trap doesn't really matter. Corruption. Damage is not going to bother us much. Okay, it's good that we're getting the empty ones now, because we're full up on inventory, so we don't want to get too many more things here. If they stack, great, but... Yeah, we already got this one before, and... No, there's no point, because I'm just going to wind up tossing it for something better. I wonder how much those are... Maybe they're, like, worth a thousand, I'm totally fucking stupid. And this whole time I could have made more money if I'd held onto them. But I'm guessing probably not. Alright, I figured there was a better chance to get a kill there, but apparently not. Another abomination. Cleansed are we getting it to go land. first? We are not. Okay. White. Nope. Alright, well, that did nothing. Another easy hallway fight. Alright, here we go. These nightmarish creatures Bye my torch. Failed. They can be beaten. Oh, we have a bandage. I should have tossed that first, but we only lost out on, like, one and a half torches by doing that, so... Do we really care that much? Probably not. Maybe would have left this one un unchecked, because it's two hallways worth of backtracking, which is a little bit more wasteful than the other opportunities we have to backtrack, so... Yeah, I'm gonna pay for it with a battle. What are you gonna do? It's only a hallway fight. Could be bad though. Hallway fights can be. Uh, it's not too bad, especially since we surprised them. Uh, yeah, we go sniper shot, and then we finish them off with like anything. Be gone, fiend. Probably abyssal. No, it's not gonna do the job. Get a heal out of that. Deal with that trap damage that was sitting there. Yeah, you know what? I'm okay with that bleed. Good slice is not going to do anything that I care about, so I'll just go for a stun and miss. Such is life. Good dodge. I know that was a miss, not a dodge. I understand they're different, but still. Alright, sniper shot. Oh, come on. 
All right, well, he's the last guy, so this is an abyssal. Foolish 75 gold, yeah. I mean, we're gonna use it, so. I should have used that, huh? Two damage is fine, though. Wasn't thinking, too eager to toss bandages. Perhaps a poor decision. Of course, if I say anything about two health making a difference, it's gonna someone's gonna die. It's gonna be by like one health or something. They just barely go to the store. I think we haven't gotten this one yet. Trampled journal, one of four. Sebastian's watch was his last. We were jolted during our evenings repast. The best we could make in these murky halls of our once great house from the war and flash of black powder. Oh, the best. Okay, I misread that. I thought it was like the best we could make, as in the best we could make of whatever was attacking us. I'm trying to get a view of it. Anyway, we dropped our bowls and hurried to him. All we could find was his spent pistol and a trail of blood leading into a maze of shadows. We press on. It's pretty horrifying. It's like really classic horror movie trope, though. I think the thing with Darkest Dungeon is the horror isn't really what you don't see. The horror is what you do see. The unseen isn't really scary in this game. Because there is no unseen. You see everything, pretty much. So, I don't know. Kind of, that's why I don't really think of it as being like a um, Lovecraftian kind of horror. Because with Lovecraft, it's really like you get these really vivid but non descript descriptions of, that makes no as sense. The light gains purchase, They're really lifted, good descriptions of things that you still don't really understand or know. And it, that makes it horrifying, I think. That's what really drives in the horror for uh, Lovecraft. Another journal. Trample Journal 304. He will dear friend. Did we already read this one, didn't we? Yeah, we did. That was the one where he was like weary and died to a trap. I really should take those. I'm sure they're worth more than I think, because otherwise they wouldn't be in the game. Maybe, I think. There there has to be a point to them. Because I'm I'm like struggling to find a situation in which I'd actually want to take one. I'm sure they're worth like a thousand or something now that I think about it and I'm starting to feel stupid about it. Yeah, free torch. And jade. Nice. That's actually... This is adding up to be a pretty sizable stack now. wonder how high these can stack. Hopefully we'll find out on this run. Trap. Yeah, whatever. Okay, that was a lot of damage. I'm gonna pop some food here. It's just better to be safe than rely on healing. Glittering gold. Trinkets and baubles. Pop another torch and an another one. Blood. Okay, lots of empty rooms. Ooh, nice, a scout. Find the secret room? Nope. Uh, three in. I don't really care enough to see what that is. It's a little bit too far to backtrack, and I don't really want to go all the way to the end and turn around. Pain in the ass. Okay, let's try and prevent them from doing anything at all. Please don't get your turn before we get ours. Great. I'm glad I used that food considering that our occultist has decided now is the time to stop being useful. Please don't give me a disease. God damn it. Alright, well, I mean, it's not like we don't have the money to treat that. Give him another one. Go for it. We'll just give me more shit to take away when I put him in the... whatever you call it. The sanitarium, I suppose, is what it's called. No, well, that was obnoxious, but not really bothering. Not really a problem. What does Creeping Cough do? Yeah, not really a problem. I mean, it'll be annoying in here because he won't be able to abyssal as effectively, but it also won't really matter in the big picture. Good, another thing to use keys on. And we surprised him, which is fantastic. So this is a barbaric yop situation for sure, I think. Try and take this guy out? Nope. Abyssal's not going to do it either. Not with the minus 20% damage. Unless he gets a crit, which will not happen, but he did do max damage, so there's that. And hook and slice might be good enough here to take one of them out. Good. Okay, we got one. So you get one turn to add on some stress, and we might camp here just to mitigate some of the issues we're going to have. Does your list have a disease removal? I don't think she does. It's only Plague Doctor and 
grave robber, I think, that have that. Yeah, you should heal yourself. Nice heal. Clearly not impacted by your cough. Too bad that doesn't remove disease or anything. Uh, if it bleeds. Dead? Dead. Yeah, very good. I think we mark just to set up the kill on her. It's the only way we're going to get it. Yeah, yeah, you know, just a crit for 20. No big deal. Looking at our Arbalist stress, we definitely needed that. We're probably going to have to institutionalize her if we don't get really good stress recovery here. Uh, yeah, we can only kill him. We're not going to get a kill on him with one hit, so... Blind fire? And that sets up the hit... Nope, okay. I was going to say that'll set up the man at or the uh, bounty hunter to get a kill here. Yeah, get the heal there. Six is not bad. Not great, but not bad. Yeah, lovely. Another guy that we got to one health. Please don't go first. Lovely. There we go. Alright, well that was less than ideal, but still somewhat tolerable. Uh, do I want to go down to four food? Yes, definitely I want to go down to four food. Okay. Take that, and then probably just ditch the torches? I know well, we're gonna... It doesn't matter that we're doing that, because we're just gonna use... Uh, we're just gonna use a campfire, but... Oh, yeah, great. Okay, I was worried we weren't gonna be able to take all that. So, okay, eight for sure. What do we have for ambush prevention without causing stress? Nothing. Alright. Yeah, nothing. Alright, unspeakable commune. Then we need... Revel, probably? I don't really care about the debuff, it's somewhat irrelevant. I really just want to reduce stress. And then both of you guys help her out. And we're actually totally fine. I mean, she's a little lower than I'd like. Doesn't work on herself, that's unfortunate. And that's kind of all we got, so I guess we help her out. Alright, that went pretty damn well. I mean, 17 is still significant, don't get me wrong, but considering pretty much the rest of the party is under 10, and mostly at 0, I will take it. Ooh, good, we get to use our last key. No waste. Wealth beyond measure. Immediately use up our two free inventory spots, which is a little bit less ideal, but uh, it's probably not going to... We saw that, didn't we? And I just stupidly walked over it. Uh, I don't pay attention to traps. I take... I go a little bit too quick through this game. I rush it more than I should. Are going to get anything? Alright, that's fine. Less so if you go first, but whatever. Okay, uh, I would prefer to just play it safe, just in case they get a crit and they start adding on some stress, considering that we seem to have a problem here. Okay, that's the issue. Might have that removed, actually. Good kill. And I would like to start getting kills here, please. Kill her up. You're gonna bleed her, huh? No. Alright. At least he only bleeds them when he actually heals them, so it's not so bad. Is that less damage? That is less damage, isn't it? It's okay. I think we're gonna get this. Yep. Yeah, we got that. Back down to zero stress. Anti-venom's unnecessary, and I think we forego shovels, given that we only have two more slots to run into them. I would have lied. Oh, okay, well there is an interaction with a... <laughs> that was a shovel interaction. Whatever. What are you gonna do, right? Shit just happens sometimes. Alright, we're done. Let's get out of here. It is not as great as I would have hoped. It kind of stress got out of control because of that zoophobia issue on the arbalist, but... It's not really that big of a deal. Good amount of, uh... 
Heirlooms for sure. We got creeping cough though. That's going to be an issue. That's a problem. That's fine. That's good. That's good. So we're going to have to remove a few corks, but that's not really that big of a deal. We have money to spare, so who cares? Medical wards free. Lovely. All right. Well, we're going to go look at that, and that is going to do it for today's episode. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll join us for the next one as well. Take care.